Tommy, good evening everybody and you're very welcome to a glorious night in Inchicore for what has all the ingredients to be a cracking game of football. St. Pat's the fourth team in the league with five wins in their last six matches, playing a Derry side aiming to bring the title home for the first time in 26 years, but a Derry side who have been off it of late following a loss to Sligo and a draw with Shelburne at the weekend against Drogheda back in April. Here he is on cue. Referee, a good look at that as the shot comes in. And it's gathered well by the goalkeeper, the breaking ball. His voice now finds himself in a very adventurous position. Played back, and it's side-footed wide by Patrick McElhenney. There was a chance, it was an opening. He had more time than he thought, perhaps. Couldn't get that one on target. Yeah, really good, good play. Cammy Dunnigan there just hits the, the switch and then all of a sudden the ball drops to Boyce. Chris Follister sells himself way too easy and McElhenney gets a decent strike at the edge of the box and at this, I don't think there's an awful lot at the at top end of the pitch with uh, St. Pat's up front, Derry up front. I don't think there's an awful lot between them. Doyle in behind. And it's gone behind. Good opening, good chance. He was the right man to be on the end of it. Just couldn't send that one on target. That's what Owen Doyle gives you. The education of his movement is absolutely brilliant. The ball is excellent. There's a bit of backspin on it. It holds up in the grass and he, he gets away from Conley. Mark comes rushing out of the goal. He tries to lift her over and very, very difficult chance. But you see, it's not the speed of Owen Doyle that gets him in behind. It's just his speed of thought. It's so, so good. A player of his quality. We want to do a lot better with that there. Inside for Adam Murphy. And the stretching couldn't get there. Here's Jay McGrath now for St. Pat's. It's opened up ahead of him. McGrath! It just opened up. It was inviting and he took the invitation. Goalkeeper got a hand to it. Not strong enough. St. Pat's take the lead. Thanks to a wonderful strike from a long way out from their central defender. And it's the home fans who celebrate. Yeah, when McGrath steps in, the whole pitch opens up. You can see Derry are set. They, they're expecting the ball to go out wide. The big centre half steps in here. Diallo doesn't do enough. You see Dumigan trying to get across. He's almost there. Mahart does get a good strong hand on it, but it's not strong enough. Rory Higgins will be having a look at that, and he will not be happy. His centre midfielders can do a lot more. His centre half can come out and engage. And Brian Marsh are doing an awful lot more with the shot, but take nothing away from McGrath. Steps in. It's a decent strike. It's a first goal for St. Pat's for Jay McGrath this season. And this remarkable run of form will continue. We've got plenty of work to do. We're now in full time to achieve that. But they just get better for St. Pat's here. They're on their way. It's Owen Doyle. Owen Doyle, and he's hit it straight at the goalkeeper. Made himself big, did Mark, but Doyle should have scored. You would have backed him to score from there. Massive chance for St. Pat's. Yeah, I'm with you, Bernard. I thought as soon as Owen Doyle races free, and he's one on one. I'm just waiting on the back of the net to ripple. It doesn't, he hits it straight down the middle. Brian Mark keeps his team in the game with that save you see here on Doyle all the time in the world sometimes that's a striker's worst nightmare when they have time to think about it McElhenney won't want to see this again on Doyle all the time in the world one touch two touch gets himself set that's straight down the middle he's got to do an awful lot better a man of his talents needs to hit the back of the net there. To Jamie Lennon back in towards Karthik Just looking to play off the shoulder if he can back it goes to Forrester Another big chance for St. Pat's. And still they come through, Curtis. St. Pat's have absolutely began this second half as they finish the first. Two big chances. Very big chance there for Chris Forrester. When he gets it onto his left foot here, it's brilliant play from Conor Carty to pick him out. Gets it onto his left foot, brilliant ball manipulation. You want him to just open out his foot and just pass that into the far corner. He puts his laces through it. Brian Marr stands up tall and manages to get, get his body behind it. That's good for that 1-0 lead. And if looking to make a nuisance of himself, goal scorer McGrath does well and boots that one away. And in doing so, sets away Owen Doyle. Doyle! There's the second goal for St. Pats. He may have made a mistake in the first half when he was one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He made no mistake in the second half. Finish and you have to feel he's got a half an hour of football to play, and that could be that for St. Pat's. What a win this would be! A side banging form have 
doubled their lead. It's an excellent finish from Owen Doyle. Once he gets into that situation, you always back him, just like I did in the first half, but this time he hits the back of the net. It's really, really poor defending from Dirty again. You see McGrath on the ball, just one big long ball, and it takes the whole Dirty team out of it. Conley's looking at Mark, telling him to come off his line. Mark's looking at Conley, telling him to get back. It's all about Owen Doyle. Can he keep his composure? He can. He just feeds it into the far post. Brilliant, brilliant finish. Seven games without a goal for Owen Doyle. He has not scored since the 10th of April against Strahda. But the 35-year-old has got himself back on the score sheet, back amongst the goals. He had plenty of work to do. But he had the confidence, and as the Derry defenders tried to get there, they couldn't. Neither could the goalkeeper. Doyle with the finish, and that could be a big goal on the night here. It could be a big goal that Derry is in past seasons as well. McJanet. Decent delivery. Comes across everyone. Well, a dangerous ball sent back in, and it's cleared. The header. Follow-up shot, and it's a superb block, but it's got in. Game back on. There's a former St. Pat's player, Keen Cavana, who's got Derry back in this game. Well, there's a number of chances in quick succession. Crucially, Cavana has produced the finish, and we're in for an interesting half hour or so here in Inchicore. This is what I expect to see a lot more of Derry putting the ball into the box, putting the two centre halves of St. Pat's under an awful lot of pressure. There's a little bit of pinball stuff, could possibly a handball there. It's a good strike from Kavna, keeps his eye on it. Linus in the Pat's goal, no chance to react. Game on again here. Pat's come forward at the other end straight away. And it's away from Boyce. The game certainly has picked up a notch or two. was certainly good and St. Pat's failed to clear their lines it will be the substitute Timberlands and it's gone in 3-1 to St. Pat's and no sooner had Terry got into this game and it's been whipped away once again from them the delivery was good the defending wasn't and St. Pat's have got their third goal. Massive celebrations. And Derry have it all to do again. A ninth league goal of the season for Chris Forrester. Yeah, you see Timmermans here. To, initially, I thought the ball was a little bit flat. Chris Forrester makes that run across the six-yard box. He does really well to direct that into the far post from there just helps it on its way, just nothing more than direction, doesn't put any power into it, brilliant ball in, great set piece, Derry again, just as they get themselves back into it, they're back out of it, awful, awful stuff from the away team, Chris Forrest, I won't mind that, brilliant header from him. Superb stuff from the evergreen, Chris Forrester, the delivery was superb, just look at this, peeled off his marker, it's a really difficult header, Arked it over the goalkeeper, 3-1 for St. Pat's. They've got it back really well, have St. Pat's. Is this another goal? It is! Wonderful finish. It's all very, very straightforward for St. Pat's. Mark Doyle with the finish. Returning from injury, 4-1 St. Pat's. They have quite literally brushed Derry City aside. And you cannot argue with that scoreline. What a wonderful night for Pats. More misery for Derry. Yeah, well, every team should be having a look at this. I'm telling them all the time, if you press properly, you will get chances in the game. Pats press really, really well. Mark Doyle nicks the ball, just runs straight through. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Hits it straight down the middle. Mark gets a little bit on it. It ends up in the back of the net, but Derry have been really, really poor. Playing balls into the middle of the pitch that he shouldn't be playing. Little flick balls around the corners. 
it's not good enough from Derry. Nobody can recover. Mark Doyle does what you expect him to do, puts the ball away, but Derry go and shoot themselves in the foot again. Fifth league goal of the season for Mark Doyle. Just triple behind. There goes the full-time whistle. It's six wins from seven matches for St. Pat's, who now go level up points with Derry City in the table. Full value for their win. A four-star performance by the home side that has finished here. St. Pat's four, Derry City one, Tommy.